In this video, I want to go through and we are going to continue working with our procedural recoil by adding a little bit more onto it. So we're not going to have, you know, just the pitch being altered. Instead, we want to give it a little bit of perhaps some roll and a very, very tiny amount of yaw. So it goes left to right. And then we want to add some impulse to the rear, giving it the kind of appeal that the gun actually has some recoil to it, not just bouncing it around. We want it to push back into our camera. What we can do is, for the time being, we're going to alter the pitch, which is actually the yaw in this case. So the roll, or sorry, which is actually the roll. So the pitch and roll are reversed in our case. The way we can do that is we can add some randomization to it. So for example, with the pitch being our roll, we're going to be having the gun tilt left and tilt right. So it's going to kind of just rotate as if we are rolling our wrist left to right. So we want to have it be a negative value and a positive value. The way we can do that is using a RAND range. So we can do F math, RAND range. We can have that be negative, let's do negative 5 to positive 5, like so. And then we can do the exact same thing for the yaw, which we want to go left to right as well. And let's bump that down to like negative 1 to positive 1 and see what that looks like. So we fire, and as you can see, it's bouncing around a little bit left to right, and it's got some roll to it as well. We can actually probably, we're going to want to reduce the pitch a bit, so from negative 5 to like negative, I don't know, 3, just so it's not nearly as aggressive, like so. However, it is, as you can see, staying very stable at that amount. So what we can do is give it this some randomization as well. So we're going to have this be from negative, I want that negative 3 to be kind of the max. And the, well, to be kind of the max that we go to. And the minimum there, I just want to be negative 1. So we go between negative 1 and negative 3. This should give it a little bit more bounce to it. Like so, as you can see, it's jumping around a good bit more. And now we can start working on the location portion. So we're going to do the exact same thing, but with a vector. So, F vector, recoil, uh, let's do vec vector, we'll do recoil loc for location, equals again, final recoil transform dot get location dot, what was it, location, oh, I'm already getting that, I'm being stupid, and then we want to add on to it. So recoil location plus equals F vector, and here we have our X, Y, and Z. So we can tinker with that, so we're just going to set these to zero for now, and think about it. So let's try just going negative 5 on the Y, and see what that does for us. And I just realized I forgot to set it. So we're going to do, at the very bottom here, final recoil transform dot set location, recoil location. And now we can do it. So again, we're just setting the location since we're now modifying it. So when we shoot now, as you can see, it's getting pushed straight back. So that's what the Y does. Let's set that back down to zero and see what the Z does. The Z obviously should be up and down, so let's just do negative five and look at it. So that brings the gun straight down, which means our X would simply move it to the left. No, that moves it to the right. So what we can do is we can have a RAND range for the Y, like so. So we're going to go between, we'll, we'll try negative 3 and negative 1 again. And I want to have very, very little for the X. So we're going to go between, let's just do negative 0 0.5 and positive 0 0.5 and see kind of the result that gives. It's got a little bit of jump around to it. That's honestly still a little bit too much for me. So I'm going to go down to 0 0.3. And that's a good bit better. I still feel like it's just a little much. So let's jump that down even just to 0 0.1. That's a good bit more stable. It's still got a little bit of hop around in that direction, but it's not bad. 
a lot of that left to right is also being controlled currently by our yaw. So that's not too big of a concern. And then I want to do just a tiny bit again for the Z. So we're going to give that a rand range, and we're just going to go between something like... Uh, I feel like we're going to do positive values this time to bring the gun up a tiny bit. So let's just try between 0 0.2 and 1. And hopefully that's not too much. And I'd say that's not that bad. So, same thing works. We can also hold down firing like we are and switch between optics because of how our system is written, and we are still good to go. Same thing, it's still going to be smooth as we go between aiming and not aiming as well. I know it's really kind of weird to kind of view the recoil when there's no projectile and there's no, um, there's no sound being played. It's just kind of weird looking at it. But there's our procedural recoil. I'd say that's actually not half bad. So these values you can obviously, you're going to want to probably tweak for your setup. But what I would recommend you do is something similar to the setup that I have. So I'm trying to kind of mimic the way Tarkov handles it, but in a different way kind of entirely. So I'm using the same logic of each gun has a horizontal and a vertical recoil. And each one gets modified based on attachments. And then you use those values Along, I'm using those values alongside the weapon weight to modify how, for example, the yaw gets affected. So if he has less horizontal recoil and the gun is heavier, then we have a cl a shorter, a smaller range for the yaw. That's the kind of the aim that I'm going for. And same thing goes for if you have less vertical. Well, you're going to decrease the pitch, so it doesn't the muzzle doesn't climb nearly as bad and all that kind of stuff. So this gives you full customization over pretty much everything you need to do. Well, then I'm actually going to go ahead and remove that log as it's not needed. But now that we are done with this video, in the next video we're going to go through and just clean it up to where these two are only being called if we are not firing. Or sorry, if we are actually firing. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patrons. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.